The Resource Center for Persons with Disabilities is focused on helping students become fully integrated into the MSU mission, uh, functions, and programs. We work to integrate students into all aspects of campus life. RCPD, everything I needed was from them. If I had any problems, anything I needed to know, anything I didn't know, the first place I went <laughs> was RCPD, really honestly. Our slogan, uh, Maximizing Ability and Opportunity, is uh, one we're quite proud of. It really talks directly to our core mission, and that is to keep people involved in the programs and to really help them reach beyond maybe even where they think they can go uh, to maximize their ability and all the opportunities that a higher educational institution brings. You just got to have an education. You've got to be able to separate yourself from the other person walking down the street that wants the same job. You've got to have some kind of marketable skill to, you know, to allow you to do that. And uh, that's what Michigan State gave me. My ADHD and uh, minor cerebral palsy um, manifested itself into high test anxiety. During class, um, I would just blank out and uh, couldn't finish it in time. And it wasn't until my second semester um, that someone directed me towards the department and uh, changed my life. I experienced the world on a slightly different emotional plane than I think most people do. And sometimes it's harder to get help because of that, because it's an invisible disability. But I've had some wonderful instructors. And the ones who've been helpful have just, have shown me all of the things that I'm capable of. I've done so much more than I ever thought I could do since I've been at Michigan State. Our safety does a lot of stuff for a lot of students. Last I heard, there was, I think, 1,200 students that are served through our CPD. And, I mean, they help us with tests. They help us with getting books, with tons of stuff. And if it wasn't for our CPD, I'm not sure I would make it too far in college. I would encourage them to seriously consider sending their child to Michigan State University because this university has a reputation of being family-oriented. I'm happy to say we have built a family-like environment here at MSU and we're prepared to really welcome people with disabilities, no matter what the disability, and to let them realize the dream of higher education. It's a great opportunity for students to come here to reach their goals. That's what the RCPD is all about, trying to help students achieve their educational goals. This is a great institution to do that. RCPD does not force you to jump through hoops, it doesn't make you feel different, it doesn't make you feel like I have to, oh I need you, and they oh I'm going to help you with no pity at all, You're very professional, very supportive, but not so much I'm going to help you finish and I'm going to help you get your degree, that, that's the difference. If you're feeling like they're going to feel sorry for you and you don't want people to see you as a really different person. That just doesn't happen with RCPD. By the time students graduate here, I think many of them have learned to reframe disability into a new, unique experience. They'll call them challenges, they'll call them life-changing events, but most of the time students find their disabilities here have just enriched their perception of the world. To accept uh, the help of the RCPD, it took a, a, a lot for me to accept my disability. I had to learn to, to, to work with it and to actually see it as a, as a strength. And I think in a lot of ways, um, having it has given me a better appreciation for what it takes to get through a class. Gaining knowledge through the RCPD of my disability uh, set me free. There are, there are resources that can help bring me to where everyone else is. Well, when I was in high school, I was told that I needed to go to a smaller university because it would be better for me and whatever those reasons were. I don't believe that. Sometimes the bigger universities are better because you have more students with that disability and they know a lot better what's going on, what you need. You don't have to walk in, in there into the disabilities office and go, well, I need this, that, and something else. But here at MSU, They've told me a couple of options that I didn't know were available for accommodations. If you talk to our staff, I think one thing you'd note is that everybody here is really set on helping students reach their full potential. And we know that that doesn't happen by chance. We know it doesn't happen if we get too involved. We know it's most effectively done if we can partner with them and kind of push them, set their goals high, 
um, support them when things get tough, and really help them realize their full potential. Maximizing ability and opportunity really talks directly to that. As I've looked over the number of, thought about the number of students who have benefited from this program that are now very successful alumni, that number is pretty extraordinary. And as we talk to parents about why come to Michigan State, it isn't because there is a service. It is because the service results in an MSU student who can be successful. Without the department, without the staff, without the specialists, without the accommodations, I would not have graduated. I could not have gotten a quality education engineering degree that I received if it hadn't been for Michigan State's accommodations of the physically challenged at that time. Um, ten years ago, I would have never told you I would be teaching anything or anyone, uh, but at MSU, I've kind of learned that I can do just about anything. <laughs> Over time, uh, one of the things I'm most pleased with at MSU is the investment we've made in assistive technology. I can think of few things that have greater potential to help people become more independent and to overcome more aspects of disabilities. Information access, uh, moving around the environment, all of these things are impacted by technology and I'm happy to say MSU has made a significant investment in this and it's paying off. I think MSU and, and RCPD is on the cutting edge of a lot of that technology. In fact, someone in the office even helps design some of them. Uh, this year, I had to go to a class where we had to take blood pressure and found out I couldn't use a regular stethoscope because of the hearing loss. And I didn't even know it, but my professor started emailing our CPD, and I started getting emails, we can help you find to get funding for a stethoscope that works for you. So they've been very helpful, and it's been a great thing. We just want to try in any way that we can we chose to do it monetarily to try to help the folks at RCPD to find as much technology as they can out there to help a student achieve their goals. And that's how we chose to do it, by establishing the endowment. One of the greatest rewards I've had is watching a student come in a little bit uncertain, or maybe a lot uncertain, watch them work hard for four or five years, watch them graduate, and then eventually be able to come back and reinvest after they're employed and making money and come back and help something grow here that wasn't here before. Helping their peers, kind of paving a trail to make things even better for the next generation. And I'd say donor supported programs are making a very significant difference for our program. They've propelled us from good to great. The idea is, is to keep the organization going because it's such a lifeline for so many students. I would find it very difficult for me not to want to give back as much as possible to this organization for as much as they've done for me. Michigan State was there for me in all aspects, from a living aspect and from an accessible education standpoint. And I'm so happy to be with the RCPD now because that's exactly what we want our money to go to. And we want Michael and keep pushing him to advertise that, get the news out. Get the news out to all the counselors and all the schools and that type of thing. With emphasis on Michigan, to tell them that by golly you can get a quality education regardless of your physical disability because Michigan State will help you.